How's it going guys? We are back on the video here and it's my monthly best goalies to buy in hut right now video. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this video and make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, and let's go over the goalies here. No order, no order by the way guys. These are just kind of the best goalies that I think are available in hut right now. Up first with a very tall goalie, Mads Sogard, all right? So Sogard, we all know why we're here. We all know why I'm talking about him. It's because of his size. He's six foot seven, 196 pounds. He's one of the tallest goalies in the game. I mean, I, I don't know if there's a six eight goalie. I, I don't really think there is. Sogard is massive. Uh, he's 76 overall. I totally understand right away. You're probably thinking, Henrik, there's no way I'm using a 76 overall. But the problem with this game is the problem with NHL has always been that goalie overall is really not that big of a deal, honestly. Height is really what makes a difference, I would say. It's crazy that that's the, that's the way it is, but it's a major, major factor on how good a goalie is going to be. I mean, you can't use a 5'10 goalie. You can't use a 5'11 goalie. You can't even really use a 6'0 goalie or 6'1, I would even say. Uh, it, it's just really unfortunate how it is, but that's just how it is, right? I mean, goalies are just so random in this game, and... To me, it's trying to get the biggest one you can for the most part, but uh, 90, he's, he's simply a 76 overall with 6 foot 7, 196. He's a good goalie. I mean, I, I've seen it enough. He's a good goalie. Sebastian Casa, this card just came out recently. I think it's on the current team of the week, actually. And he's 6 foot 6, 229 pounds. He's got silver post to post. My good friend Thrash Gaming, Thrash Hockey, I guess now his name is on YouTube. Uh, he really likes this card. I mean, he's a Red Wings fan too, so maybe there's some bias involved in there. But he does play well in game. I gotta say, he's a card that has played well in the, the last few huts, honestly, even like NHL 22, 23. He's always played well in game. It's probably because he's 6'6 six, six through 29, right? He's massive in the net. Takes up so much of the net. Uh, I think he's such an awesome goalie here. And 85 overall, it's not going to cost you a lot of coins. So if you buy it, you're not going to be like, oh my god, I, I spent all these coins and he's not even good. You can always just sell it back and you're not going to really feel it like you lost a lot of coins or anything like that. So I try, I try Sebastian Costa out. I really would. I think he'd be an awesome option. And I'll just uh, see how he is. We got Thatcher Demko, 91 overall. Demko's another one. Uh, he's six foot four. That's kind of... You know, around the minimum, I go 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, I really wouldn't go much smaller than that for goalies. They're all just, you got to have that kind of height, I feel. But uh, synergies don't really matter on goalies. But, I mean, he's got speed boost and agile dangler boost with playmaking boost and defensive boost here. Uh, really good stats here. Uh, most stats are in the 90s except for his poke check, his endurance, and his aggression and durability, which is fine. Those aren't really too important of stats. Uh, but what I do like... Uh, he's got silver light work, silver energizer, silver butterfly effect, and gold post to post. So funny enough, guys, what I would probably activate on Demko would really only be light work. I think light work might be one of the only good abilities this year for goalies. That's just what I've noticed the more and more I've been playing NHL and just seeing, you know, what works and kind of what doesn't. But Thatcher Demko, 91 overall, guys. I'm a I'm a huge fan of him. I really am. I think he's a great card here. Um, yeah, I mean, Demko for 91 overall, I think he's a good card. He's about 100,000 coins right now. It's it's expensive, but I think Demko is worth it. Some more expensive goalies here as well. Jake Ottinger, 91 overall edition here. He's six foot five, 220 pounds. Uh, he's got synergies of playmaking boost, defensive boost, agile dangler boost, and speed boost. As I mentioned, synergies for goalies. Mainly a non-factor, but silver energizer, silver light work, silver showstopper, and gold post to post here. Uh, it's just light work. I mean, that's the one you want to activate because it also only costs three AP, which is not that much, honestly. Three ability points is really not that bad, at least to me. Like, I think it's pretty manageable for a goalie. Um, I like Andrew. I do. I think he's a heck of a goaltender. Um, for me, he's he's a guy that. I absolutely would recommend, and I've seen people have great success with him, and I know he's a goalie that most people, a lot of top players, end up using as well, so Andre for sure. Ilya Sorokin here, Sorokin at 6'3", 195, lefty. He's always played pretty well in game this year, that's what I've noticed at least. Defensive boost, speed boost, playmaking boost, shooting boost, and accelerator boost. He's another one, a lot of these goalies have a lot of similar abilities, I feel like, light work. Everyone has, everyone has light work, everyone has butterfly effect, everyone has... Post to post, and everyone has showstopper. It's kind of what it feels like for uh, for most goalies that I've noticed in this video, right? But all of his stats are pretty remarkable. Um, the only down to him is his uh, poke check, 
His passing, and I guess his 5 hole. Everything else is pretty high 90s for the most part, his stats. I mean, 99 speed is really nice on him. As I mentioned, though, light work. That's going to be the one you want to activate, you know, no matter what. Like, I mean, I feel like the other ones are fine. The other abilities are fine. But I just think light work's got to be the one you really activate on Sorokin here. Um, I like him. I, I like I like Sorokin in game. I think he plays well. Um, six three, as I said, is kind of like the the minimum I'd say for a goalie height that you can really use and justify him being successful at least. But uh, Ilya Sorokin, I put him here as well. 100% is a goalie that I recommend. 90 overall, Jacob Markstrom. A very important thing to know about this card though is if Jacob Markstrom got, does get traded at the deadline, he'll probably be a devil, and he'd be turning into a 92 overall. He's six foot six, 207 pounds. Left-handed goalie here, playmaking boost, speed boost, checking boost, and defensive boost. He's got silver light work, silver butterfly effect, silver post-to-post, -post, and gold show stopper here for Markstrom. And I like Markstrom, I do. He's a, he's a great goaltender here. Uh, to me, he's, uh, he's one that for sure always is so good. I've used his 89. I wasn't really a big fan of his 89. His 86 I found to be a bit better than his 89, which again is a major problem with this game that the overalls don't matter that much that an 89 is not as good as an 86, but I digress. This 90 Markstrom should be good though. Uh, he's 90, he's gonna be, again, he could be a 92 overall uh, by the end of this week, so that'd be really, really huge, uh, but we uh, we will see. So 90 overall, Jacob Markstrom, 6'6", 207. He's a beast, and I absolutely recommend Markstrom to you guys. Last but not least is Darcy Kemper. Kemper at 6'5", 215 pounds. Left-handed goalie here. Uh, he's got speed boost, defensive boost, playmaking boost, accelerate boost, and agile dangler boost. Kemper is very, very good from what I've seen. Silver showstopper, silver post-to-post, -post, silver butterfly effect. But best of all, guys, gold light work. As I've mentioned, I believe gold light work is tremendous, tremendous, tremendous ability here. Uh, I think it's probably the best goalie ability in the game this year, actually, from what I've what I've gathered and seen. And he just plays very well in game here, Kemper. He really does. Most of his stats are, you know, the important ones are like 95 plus, glove high and stick high are 95, glove low 95, stick low 95. Awesome goaltender here. I recommend Kemper for sure. Uh, I have I know a lot of top players are using him as well. Sky is taken uh, is, is one of them, and he really enjoys him, and he has mentioned as well to me that goal light work is, uh, is one of his favorite abilities that he, he's noticed, at least, in goalies this year. So Darcy Kemper is the last one for me. And now my question for you guys that are watching this video is, who is your goalie? Who have you been using? Who's been your go-to for the last little bit, last month, last, I mean, the whole year maybe, depending if you've been using a similar goalie the whole year? Comment down below, and I hope these goalies helped you guys out. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Hopefully it helps. Make sure you guys leave a like. Subscribe if you're not already and follow me on Twitch, Henrik. I'm live there every single day. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and you get three E's. And be sure to join my Discord to talk to me, followers, and subscribers to the channel. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.